we're going to focus on the the data and the transform tab. So these are really basic um, operations, but frankly, there's very few courses that actually teach you how to do these things. So this the purpose of tonight is really just to kind of do a light demonstration on a couple of these functions. So the first set is we're going to go into the data the data tab in the menu, and that is not to be um, confused with the data view, which is down um, on the bottom left of the screen. We're actually looking at the data view in the background, but this is the data tab. So a couple of things I want to show you, first of all, is how to sort your cases. So if you click on the data, um, the data view, click on sort cases. I already have one pulled up here. But what you can do, what you do is you just simply pull in um, whatever variable you want sorted. You can sort it in ascending or descending order. It's very simple. You just click OK. You'll notice anytime you do that, SPSS will create some syntax for you. And when you do that, uh, you'll have to just trust me that all of these user records are now in um, sorted in order from the lowest lowest to the highest. So that's pretty simple. That's an easy one. Let's try another function on the data tab. What if you needed to split the file? So what if you want to split it um, by using a categorical variable into different groups and analyze each of them separately? So um, what you do to split a file, um, you click on split, and the default will be analyze all cases. Uh, if you want to split, you go to the compare groups. I have a field, a variable already loaded in here, region of the country. I click on that. Again, I get my syntax. Now let's see if that worked. Go here now to analyze, descriptive statistics, and let's do, um, actually let's do, yeah, let's do some, some basic statistics here. Not going to play, play a frequency table. We are going to put in some some stats. Click continue and click OK. And now, if you notice in my output, <clears throat> all of the stats were were run for each of those categories that I split the data by. Okay, so if you need it for, you know, in this case, it's it's region. You want to do it by gender. It really needs to be by a categorical variable, not a continuous variable, because you would just have a mess on your hands trying to split a continuous variable. But for categorical variables, sometimes that's what that's exactly what you want to be doing. Now, something people tend to forget is if you need to un go back to the unsplit data, you actually have to reverse your steps. So you go back to the split file, see how I have the compare groups. I want to click Analyze All Cases, click OK. And now if I run that test again, now when I run this, I have the whole group not split by region of the country. Let's try one more in the Data tab. What if you wanted to select cases? So in other data sets, this might be called like a filter. Okay, so you want to you want to filter in or filter out cases. So again, the default would be to select all cases. If you want to, if condition is satisfied. So let's say we're going to add, and it can, this can be with a, a continuous or a categorical variable. I have a continuous, I have a baseline um, systolic here. And I'm going to select if it's greater than or equal to, and I'm going to put a number in, 140. And we're going to click OK. Go back to my data. And now look, probably very tiny, very illegible to read. But you'll notice on the, the numbers on the very leftmost column that start with 1 and they go all the way down, all the way to the end of the data set, the records that did not meet that condition are selected out. So I asked for records greater than a systolic blood pressure of greater than 140. 
And so you notice all of these up until the 156 are literally crossed out, okay? But it does keep the, you know, the ones that do meet that condition. So again, now if we go back and run our stats again, notice how my data set dropped the N. Uh, if you notice back up here at the top, there were 4,236 records in this data set. And now when I did my select, now there's only 1,389. So I've selected out data. Um, data. All right, I'm going to go back. And the same thing, if we want to reverse that, you always need to go back and undo. You can actually keep, keep the variable in the if condition satisfied. But go, so if you want to go back to it, it's already there. But to go back to all, you just go back to all cases. SPSS will just you know, do filter off. And if I go back now, I don't have check marks listed here anymore.